Hey guys, welcome back. Today, you won't believe what happened. I had this amazing experience yesterday from you guys, right from the audience, but someone requested a special dish. Oh my God, that was a dream come true, guys, because I did promise you, if I didn't know something, I will find out the recipe and get it straight to you. The special request was something for the occasion of the Ramadan month. And obviously, I'm from India, but I'm from a Bengali culture. So my knowledge there was giving me a test. But my friends came to the rescue and I definitely have one of the most executive delicacy from their home. And it's a Lebanese style recipe called Zatar Chicken. Now this is very famous in Middle East at this time. So we are going to cook this together because it's first time for me too. So let's hope it turns out really delicious because I can't wait. Now guys, for the zatar chicken, you definitely need zatar spices, which is a mixture of various different spices. And I'm gonna go with you, check which ones you need for this recipe. All right. Now the spices you see here are four tablespoon of coriander powder, four tablespoon of cumin powder, four tablespoon for garam masala, oregano leaves, and some roasted sesame seeds. So let's begin start making our zatar chicken's seasoning with a mixture of all these spices right here. I'm going to use avocado oil, but you can use olive oil if you want. I definitely like to change oil every now and then just for a different taste. Today, just going to add this right here. As I said, about four spoons of the spice. So I just added coriander. Let's see. Let's mix it up. We are getting the mixture here. Going to add our oregano. I'm gonna save this a little. Now that is the roasted sesame seeds. Let's give this a stir. Now I like a little bit of lime juice so I'm going to add that right here. Give it a good squeeze. All these flavors will be in the chicken. Now I'm going to add some salt pepper right now to our seasoning. I'll tell you a fun thing that happened last time. I was trying to add this pepper and now Costco sells these huge boxes, right? Accidentally, one time while cooking, instead of this small thing, I had the bigger hole happen to be open. Guess we had to scoop the whole dish out of it. So we are not doing that today. Let's see how this one is. And our seasoning looks ready. Here, have a close up. So now we will use this to coat it on our chicken and marinate it. Let's pat these chicken dry. Now, as I told you before, we have taken here about seven chicken legs and I'm going to dry them up before putting the seasoning. You can see I'll have all these skin with it. And I think people generally have a better flavor in the chicken when they cook it along with the skin. So let's get started applying our seasoning to them. So I'm coating the chickens really good. That's our seasoning. That's where the taste will come from. So no compromise on that, okay? And definitely feel free to change the seasoning if next time you feel something is missing. Of course, it's you and what you like about the taste. And as I said, before i'm also making it the first time so we are going to know what we did like in the taste and what we didn't so let's try this out now i'm going to stuff the seasoning very well under the chicken skin because that's how it will become more juicy and we will taste it better so let's do that here at this stage now here you see i have seasoned the chicken marinated it well 
Now you definitely want to set your air fryer if you want to use in this one or I'm going to use the oven we have. I'm going to prep this in one dish right here and put it in the oven. I have set it to 325 Fahrenheit and of course I will be keeping an eye to see when the chicken is done because chicken cooks really fast and then the skin gets burnt. We don't want Oh, I need to say something special to you guys. My husband, who sneakily came behind and takes a sniff and says, this is new. Now you can see I am also, well, I'm trying not to get distracted by his sneaky peeks right here. And I'm adding the onions, which will also go along with this. As I said, one dish, everything in the same pan. I'm gonna add some greens right here to this dish. Those greens as an optional. Uh, this is ready to be put in the oven. Here goes our recipe. We are waiting now, guys. Let's see, I'll keep an eye on the chicken and I'll let you know exactly how much time it took for me to make those chicken legs. This dish can go very well with if you want some salads you can definitely have some rice goes great along with it i think i have a chicken lover in my house and i myself love chicken so we are just gonna have our proteins just by itself and we are going to enjoy every bit of it so let me know how you guys are trying and if you do think that you are going to try with something additional please share with me and i would love to know and see what you did really hot see i can smell it ready just have a look right there as you can see guys the chicken seems ready i checked it and it looks well cooked inside and it took about 15 minutes so now i'm gonna give it a taste i'm gonna let you guys. this is ramadan special so ramadan mubarak so bye bye for now see you later